Now then, my music guest today has a truly incredible voice. Can you tell I'm a fan? She's an American singer-songwriter. She supported Jules Holland and opened for Gary Barlow on tour. And now she's releasing her third UK album. Please welcome Nell Bryden. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm Lovely good. Lovely to see you. Delighted to be here. Thank you. The new music of yours, I love it. Uh, Basically, because I'm Welsh, you get two albums for the price of one. <laughs> exactly. I like a bargain. It's good value. Yeah. It is. So you do one album with a band and one acoustic. Yes, exactly. Well, I did a whole produced album, which was very up-tempo and upbeat to reflect my mood in life these days. And then I got to the end of it, and as a songwriter, I missed having the narrative and the lyrical quality uh -huh. of the demo. So okay. I, I did the whole thing again as a script. Oh, brilliant. Back and it's really light, it's really bright, it's really happy. I wonder why. I know. <laughs> Well, um, it is a form-fitting dress, but it is actually, there's something, there's a bun in the oven in oh, there. I'm five it. and a half months pregnant with a little girl, and I've just recently gotten married, and I've found love. So my life has just come to this wonderful, sort of Look settled, smile on domestic, I know. They do say I'm glowing, and it actually, I think it's true, because I'm just so happy. Uh, but yeah. all the love happened here in Britain, didn't it? did. It? I married a Brit, yeah. I was um, touring a lot, and uh, I finally... Uh, got a place in Notting Hill. I went across the street to the restaurant. There was a very handsome manager of the restaurant. So I kept checking in on the daily specials. And finally, he asked he me was for on my there, phone number. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, and the rest, as they say, is history. Fantastic. What was, your, what was the first dance you danced to uh, uh, in the wedding? Well, we actually danced to an old Sam Cooke song. Yeah, oh, okay. both of us are huge Sam Cooke fans. And I know that you love your voices. And oh, he yeah. had one of the best ones out there. Absolutely. Yeah. You talked about touring earlier on. Um, you're going to be doing a massive tour here in Britain, September, yeah. October, all the way through to November. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how's it going to be? It's ambitious, with... isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, well, my mother uh, actually was also a singer who sang with me at eight and a half months pregnant at Carnegie Hall. So wow. I know it's possible. And you also, as a singer, you know you can have something to push against in your diaphragm. So Absolutely. she said I was just kicking away on the high notes. So I think maybe it'll be okay with the baby. But the tour is ambitious. It's 21 dates throughout wow. the fall. And I'm due on the 27th of November. The last date of the tour is November 1st. So... You do the math. Goodness me. But, yeah. you know, I'm so pleased for your success because it hasn't been an overnight success thing. No. You've been touring, as you said, for 10 years. Yeah. And we're talking hundreds and hundreds of gigs, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All over the world. All over the world. And when I first started out, I was setting up those gigs myself. Yeah, so you, I, what, you were the singer, the writer, you were the manager and the booking agent. And the booking agent. And, and I actually, when I was the booking agent, I decided I couldn't wait around anymore for someone to just discover me. And so I started this whole character who was a Brooklyn accent character who would call up and she would say, I have Nell Bryden available and she can only do these dates and she's going to need this amount of money. <laughs> and people bought it. It was amazing. Fantastic. So. Well, they did it until now. Yeah. <laughs> now you know. Now they know the truth. I'm a massive fan Thank of you your music. Thank you so much. And likewise. so many years. You're going to perform a couple of songs for us. Yes. Uh, what are you going to do first? Well, I thought that we would do one of the songs I sang for my husband at the wedding. Oh, wow. Which is one of his favorite songs in the whole world. And then I fell in love with this song again. So this is Otis Redding's Dock of the Bay. Fantastic. What a classic. It's Nell Bryden. Thank you.
I really love her music. More from Nell a little bit later. After the break, we have a rundown.